Makes me remember that song that said the world is a seed when planted and watered grows to be great. You can be anything you want. You can accomplish all your dreams if you only believe. Yes, Los Inash. Oh, the word of God is here today. Living inside of you. Will you believe? Dear to receive. In this world you can see it's in time. I say this is your season. Your time to shine again. In this world you can see it's in time. I say to you, this is your season. Your time to shine again. It's your time. Hallelujah. It's time to shine again. It's time to shine again. Hallelujah. It's time to shine again. This is your season. This one, now your time. Now your time to shine again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay. Hebrews 4, 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing evil to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow. And he is a designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Say so the word of God is the designer of my thoughts. The word of God is the of my thoughts. Is the designer of my thoughts. And the intents of my heart. Say it again. The word of God is the designer of my thoughts. The word of God is of my And the intents of my heart. So that you don't look at yourself and think that God does not know what goes on in your heart. He has planted his own word in you. And it is the word of God that helps you to become who you are supposed to be. Therein lies the power to transform us. Therein lies the power to shape in our lives and destiny. That is the power of the word of God. Not for us to remain in the captivity of the darkness of this world. For we have sold our life to Satan in the garden of Eden. But Jesus Christ came, or rather I like putting it this way, God came in the person of Jesus. Sacrificed himself. Disgrace the enemy and reconcile us to himself. That the life that we have lost, we are regaining and we have regained it. That is the power of the word of God. It is that power that holds the systems together. It is that power that holds the universe together. It is that power that holds your body, soul and spirit together. That God will make you scatter. So, the word of God is not something, it's not even the joints and marrow, everything that concerns me. The word of God occupies. Everything that concerns you. The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians, he said they feel everything, all in all. Let it sink. And let it penetrate. Hallelujah. We have seen throughout all what we have been learning that there is salvation in the word of God. Like we read this morning, the book of John 1, 12. 
He said, as many as receive him, to them gave he power to become the source of God. Even to them that believe in his name, that have faith. Those who have received the power to operate, to function as sons of God. And when we operate and function as sons of God, it means that we are operating and we are functioning in the likeness of God. As much as we also function as the son of man. Jesus said the son of man has come to destroy the works of the devil. Telling us not to be afraid. Don't, for, don't, not, let us not look down on ourselves that because we are man. And then we look at Satan and the demons that they are spirits. Forgetting that we ourselves, we are spiritual beings to every planet on the earth. When they look at us, they say we are what? Aliens. And aliens, we tell them as what? Spiritual beings. So, just as they to us, frightens us. We think that all oh, they are more powerful. That is how you also you are to them. They, they fear you. You understand that mentality? Eh? You say any alien are coming to invade us, everybody they fear. Don't you know that the same alien and the same they take for for here? They are afraid of what you will do. So what they are doing is trying to defend themselves from you. So you have to be offensive. And don't fall into that lie of the devil. That power is not in you. Power is in you. No, no, know why. Amen. Amen. So the power in the word of God is the power that has equipped us to be witness for God. He said unto us in the book of Acts 1, 8, so you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witness of me. In Jerusalem, in Judea, um, in Samaria, in all the parts of the earth, you shall be my witness. And I've told us that being the witness of God is showing for the glory of God. Being the witness of God is that you are carrying and reflecting and practicing and doing and living in the power of everything that God is. When it comes to miracle, it fool your body. When it comes to signs and wonders, you are able to take care of it. When it comes to healing, it's not a problem to you. You know how to heal your body and to heal others. You know how to receive miracle and to transform miracle. You know how to live as an overcomer because God has made you to be more than conqueror. That ability is in you, that is what is called witnessing. Not only telling people that Jesus is Lord and you should receive salvation. No, your life speaks of everything that is called godliness and righteousness. Everything that is called being a triumph, being a champion. Your, that is what your life, my life shows and, and projects. That is what is called witness. You know, they hear me? Yes, it's not like the former mentality that we have. That we think that those who witness Christ are those who are poor. Those who witness Christ are those who, who are colloing in their brain. No! Those who witness Christ are those who have a special relationship with God. Who know who God is. And they know their own place on this earth. Amen? Amen. Amen. They are rich. They are wealthy. They are prosperous people who does not lack anything. So that is also the witness that they carry. It's not as if you are witnessing and somebody is telling you, ah, look at me, I can't eat. And you don't have money to give the person. Even the Bible said in the book of James, he said, where is the love that you have? If your brother or your sister come to you and tell you that you should help him or her, and you are not able to help and you say, God will bless you. Meanwhile, it's, the money is in your power. If the money is not there, it's a pity. But if the money is there, what you need to do is what? Do it. And that is why we come to what we learned this morning. Say, so if you know how to do good and you do not do it, it's a sin. But it's painful if you say you are a witness of Christ. And you're talking about Jesus, about salvation, and you're declaring and declaring that he was poor for your sake. Money not in your pocket. Hey, where? That one is not witnessing. 
Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Do you understand? Oh, your life is a witness. Your life should be a witness. And I repeat, witness that you are means you are everything that God has created you to be. You are experiencing the life of God. That is the greatness witness. That you and God is one. That I and God is one. We are not lacking in this kingdom. We are triumph. We know our brain correct. Our brain no scatter. We know who we are. That is the power that is found in this world. Because when we understand that power in this world, we will know how to use it. It's the power that is able to put Satan in his place. To put demons in their place. To comfort the world and the riches and the goodness and the mindset of heaven to call it to happen on the earth. You will know how to pray well when you are a witness. God gives us power for signs and wonders. God gives us power for great exploits. I've said that already. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to know that there is power in the word of God and to take the word of God seriously. We must really believe in that which we are speaking. How do we believe in it? By meditating upon it to allow it to dwell in our hearts. That is why the word of God is the descender of our thoughts. So that that which is in us, the power of the world, that is not whatever it is not, that is not right, the power of the world will take it. And then put the effectiveness and the efficiency of his word into us for us to be able to reign. That is what the word of God do. It transform. The word of God transform. He said he has taken us out of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, which is the kingdom of light. And that is why the light can shine in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. The Bible tells us in the book of Second, uh, First Corinthians, Second Corinthians 4, he said, he said the God of this world has blinded the mind of those who are disobedient to God. For those who the power of the word of God is working in them, they are not blind. You and I will not blind. And that is the power of the word of God that makes us to see light in the world and not to see darkness. Hallelujah. The book of Isaiah 47 says the grass wither, the flower fades. Isaiah 47 and 8. The grass wither, the flower fades, because the spirit of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass wither, the flower fades, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Amen. These people are like grass. Who are those people that are like grass? They are those who don't believe in the power of the word of God. Those are the ones that winds blows. Remember the book of Hebrews says unto us, he said that those who are wise, they are the one who are matured and knows, I mean, they eat meat, eating food that belongs. Praise the Lord. She's examining my order. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Do you understand what I just said? He said in Hebrews chapter 5, at the very end of it, he said, Mature people, they eat the meat of the word of God. And they are able to discern between good and evil. So, when the word
word of God says that the word of God shall stand forever. And it says that grass withered, flower withered, evil people are like grass. It means that those who don't listen to the word of God, they fade in the way. But those who eat like a matured man that eats meat, who eats the word of God and allow the word of God to live inside that one, he said that one will never fade. Even when God blow breeze, you won't fade. Why? His word stands forever. Why do you think that the word of God said that Jesus has been from the beginning? He said the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. The same was in the beginning. All things were created by him, and without him was nothing created that was not created. He said this word became flesh and dwelt among man. Who is he talking about Jesus? You who became flesh and you are dwelling among men. Where did you come from? Where do you come from? From eternity, from the bosom of the Father. For us to not become the word of God on this earth, just as Jesus was the word of God. I've told us so many times, the only thing that is differentiating us with, from Jesus, from his lifestyle, our lifestyle, is that we are not going to the cross to die. Okay. To... Bible makes us to see it clearly. That he has prepared works for us from the beginning of the earth. Bible makes us to see it clearly that those who he predestined, he conformed to become his dear son. He has predicted them. He has chosen them right from the beginning. Now, am I lying? You are not existing now. You have been existing since. From long, long time ago, in a verse, say so you tell them the truth. Amen. You have been existing from eternity. You are the word of God that has become flesh now. That is the power that is there. When we know this reality, when we understand this truth, we will carry ourselves differently. In the beginning was the word, Richard. And the word was with God, Rachel. This word now has become flesh and is dwelling among men. And you will behold my glory as of the glory of the Father. You, you never understand me, you don't fear to talk. He said, like You yourself, people will behold your glory as they behold the glory of the Father. That is the power of the word of God. We are actually his glory. <laughs> so many things say this Bible, I tell you. May God continue to help us to direct us to the truth, to that one that will make us to indeed become that one, that, that which he has made us to be. Say, fathers, you have no need from the beginning because his word is the truth. Hallelujah. The book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs 35. I think one of you used this verse. I don't know. He said, Every word of God is pure. He is a sheep unto them that put their trust in him. And had thou not unto his works, least he removed, he reproved thee, and thou be found in life. How do we had? When we are afraid to become that which we are not, we are teaching ourselves what Bible did not teach us. And let me tell you, this is a deception of the world. When the world will tell ah, like what I just quoted, they say, now Jesus so. Now God Himself, it has nothing to do with you. Eh? Did Jesus not say as as he is, so are you in this world? Am I the only one that read it in the Bible? He said, this is how you overcome even with your faith. Because as he is, so are you. Now, we are trying to tell ourselves that we are not as he is. That we are dragging position with the Father. How? These are the power in the word of God. Even Jesus said, he became servant. 
Even though he was equal with God. Yes. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Amen. Is that not how he said? Because he wants our mentality to change. Mm -hmm. Satan will tell you, no, you are not equal. Satan will tell you, no, you are, ah, don't put yourself in that position. But when he resurrected, the Bible said, we also resurrected with him. And where are we sitting? The right hand of God. We are at the right side of God. The place of the power of his word, which is life and spirit unto you and I. So if I am with him, dear, what is that the difference? That means everything inside him should be transcending and translated through me. Because I am his ambassador, his representative here. And whoever is his ambassador and representative carries all his power. So meaning that the word of God was answered when I speak it. When we have that mentality, the word of God will answer unto us when we speak it. It's because we don't yet have that mentality. That is what is troubling us. That is why when we speak it, it doesn't happen. Yet, God teaches us. That makes me to remember. Do you know that uh, um, two weeks ago, I remember this day, I was sharing it with uh, uh, Pastor uh, David, uh, also with Pastor Calvin. About some 10 years ago, Anointing of God Ministry, we were looking for a place. Uh, Pastor David Danso, or Reverend David Danso, was also looking for a place. That time. And you know, I, I called him my son. Yes. You all, you know, those who know us. I used to call him my carnal son. I like him so much, he and his wife, because they started young. Just as the same thing, my heart is always in Matthias. I pray for him always. He started young. I like when people start young. To do the work of God. It touches my heart. It touches the small, the soft side of my heart. So, during that time, as I called him, so I told him, I, I had a kind of vision because I know the quick dream. It is always vision, it flashes. In uh, this uh, western uh, western side of uh, West Banoff, I saw a big place, and then I told him, I said, ah, we shared that I'd have to uh, cut part of the place for him to be using. Why we were using the bigger hall? They were using a, a small hall. But because of pressure for us to leave Sandvit, because actually I called the person. Two weeks later, I checked the, the, the newspaper. I saw somewhere in Ban uh, West Banoff, and I called the people, and the description was what I saw. I already told him that before even the calling. Then the man said, they don't want to give the place to a church. I said, child. I said, but I saw this thing. I saw me and this person who we were sharing the same uh, place that I gave unto him. Praise the Lord. And of course, because of pressure, we got this place that we are now. One year later, that man called me. But we were already here. And now they are ready to give that place. And I say, ah, and you people know how much we spent in this place. Yeah. Not with small money, we spent almost 20,000 according to the accounting. Okay. Praise the Lord. Breaking the walls and putting wow. uh, uh, everything. The chairs, half of the chairs, we are free. We know those contributed and everything. We give glory to Almighty God. So because of that, the money was big. We stayed in this place and we cannot go. I forgot totally about that, that prophetic word. He himself definitely didn't remember. But do you know that now they are sharing with us, Abi? Just two weeks ago, he just passed by me. And God just flashed back that scenario. Wah. I said, what? Did he shock the life to you? It was not West Bad of God still brought his word to come to pass. Amen. We are sharing. So I said, Wow. First, it was all we caught part for now. We're in the same room. I said, Wow, God is this. He just brought it back to let me know that that vision was nothing. It's not as if it was not a non-ethical vision. 
He was the one that showed it. So in his own way, he made his word to come to pass. This is not for you to be clapping hand. It is for me. I was with tears. I said, God. And I was afraid for my spirit. I said, is this how you walk? He said, what you say definitely comes to pass. The vision definitely comes to pass. I forgot it. Just like when I had my third son, I told you people, everybody said that she, he was going to be a girl. When I gave back to him, I said, God, why is it now about all prophecies and every person that says the sea? They said, it. God asked me, showed me a picture when I was young. And I said, I wanted three boys. I told you all, I said several times. The picture came back that day. Wow. Are you not the one that asked me for three boys? I said, Father, I've been nervous. When we are speaking, there are powers in our words. When we are imagining something, you know when you love somebody with your heart, you want to put that person in the things that you are doing. That was what happened then. Because like I told you, he's young, so I embraced him into what I was looking for. Trying to solve my own solution, uh, problem and solve his own as well. That was how I embraced him into the plan. And God now uses it. Is it not our advantage today? They could not leave that room. Now with our advantage. Yeah. Hey, now they pretend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know how this thing be. Praise the Lord. Yeah. But the thing actually touched my heart and I said, God, thank you. That you make it to be that there is nothing that you have said that will not come to pass. Unless if the hearer does not get to it. What about if he had had pride and said, no, I can't share place with them? It would have come to pass. But only God knows the reason why it is. I said, if it is only one month this day, the word of God is already fulfilled. Praise the Lord. I just want to share that with us. To make us to know that whatever dream, whatever vision, whatever thing our, our mouth has spoken, it's only a matter of time. There is power in our words. It will surely come to pass. This is not the only thing I don't... I'm not here to be giving testimony. This one is just something that happened recently. That is why I speak it out. So many things like that. That is why I will tell some people, don't fight your pastor. Don't fight your pastor. If, if he comes here to open his mouth, he will tell you so many times I've prophesied into his life. He will prophesy into his ministry. Point out people in his church and say, this one, walk with this one, this one, run away. This one, ask him. Oh, I keep pointing up my head there now. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Call him and ask him. He will tell you that everyone I told him, avoid. They became a problem to him. And everyone that I say, hold them tight. They are they are the ones that are very close to him and making the ministry to be strong. He has confessed us on his own, even to people. There was a day, he said, Mommy, but why you know they talk all these things? He said, Mama, I want you, I want you. I said, well, you know, I said, I don't need to. You, use your mouth, they talk. Because now you are talking. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So when I was telling there last week, he was saying, was saying, yes, 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 it is true, it is true, it is true. Praise the Lord. There is power in your words. There is power in your words. There is power in the word of God. And when you speak the word of God, it happens. And when you love the word of God, the word of God become. Amen. 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 Hebrews 1. From verse 1. We have read this the last time again and again. He said, God, who had so three times and in diverse manner. Listen to that. God, who in sovereign time, and a sovereign time and in diverse manner. There is a way that God speaks to me. There is a way that God speaks to you. There is a way that you need to know how to use your words. He said, that same God, even now. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said that same God, even now, speaks to us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things.
by whom also he made the world, who being the brightness of the glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word. I want you to sing, that is why I stopped. Upholding all things by the word of his power. Your word is your word powerful? The Bible says, according to the power that is within us. And what should be that power within you? Believing the word of God and the word of God is final. This sounds always simple. But because we don't think about it, we don't meditate about it, it slips through our hands. <laughs> don't read the Bible and see Paul. Don't read the Bible and see Peter. Don't read the Bible and see James. Don't read the Bible and see David. See the Bible and see yourself. Mm. Did you hear what I just said? Read the Bible and see who? Yourself. Look at ba a a Balak, hiring Balak to speak words, to cause the children of Israel. Look at how much Satan will go to want to see his words to come to pass in your life. Killing several rams, killing several cows. Do you know how expensive that is? Just to cause a righteous person. But when you believe, say with our hearts, we believe. And with our mouth, we confess that Jesus is Lord. When you believe and you are confessing it, God will look at you, he will look past your sin and shame according to that song. He will look beyond you. He will not become the one that God has shown mercy. Then God will stand and he will tell the enemy, he said, cause not my anointed. Not touch, he said, cause not my anointed because my anointed ones are blessed. Yes. Three good times. Hired a prophet to go and curse. Like the one that is cursing uh, all the Nigerian artists and doing juju for all of them to die. So that they will say he's a great prophet, prophet from Ghana. I don't know the two even they do also. Eh? One country will be saying vision to the other country. The other country will be saying vision to this country. We're not going to say our own people solve our own problem. Uh, yeah, they said I made this one fine. What is the name? What is the name of this uh, at Junior Pope? Eh? They said the Ghana guy is here. The guy do not pope. We see move on. Now I call the see pastors. Now I have a prophet Jeremiah as an ally with Professor Wamsef. For my question is that why are we always interested in other countries? We will talk about America. We will talk about London. Our own uncle. Jesus Christ said, preach the word first to where? Jerusalem. Before you go to there, before you go to Samaria, before you go to the end of the world. Let me start from my daughter of God Ministries. If a lot of God ministries cannot show for the glory of God, if the life of the people in a lot of God does not, does not change, uh -uh. why would I be saying it is people outside? People do attend school and they cause the problem. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I cannot any day pray before I pray for Nigerians and other Africans. I will first of all say, God, me, my husband, our children, the men of anointing of God ministry, the women of anointing of God ministry, the youths of anointing of God ministry, the children of anointing of God ministry. I must pray if I go to remember the Nigerians in this book, the Africa in this book, then the one of uh, Austria, before I will come to Europe, before I now going all over the whole world. Now, so it be. Step by step. That is why I tell them, not the verse with me. There are some things I can't say. There are some people they change their mind towards me. That was when their miracle happened. They don't know themselves, but the Lord told me that. They changed their mindset towards me before their miracle happened. Me, myself, I did not beg God like Moses. They beg. 
for Aaron and Miriam. Say, don't put it on them. And those that refuse to change, now know where they did. Those that said that me are the fake prophets. Shh. They are all in Nigeria. The children of them that have attacked me in this in this East book and refused to change and called me fake prophet. You know what I said? I said, God will show you how fake I am. Let me see the solution where you will get. Since you say I'm fake, okay. Receive the blessings of fake prophets. <laughs> Two of them before they come, they first come and say, pray. First of all, say, may I pray for that they wrong. May I go to Asha. I say, you have received your reward. I am saying something. I don't know what is happening in the air. But don't get angry with me, please. Forgive me. If you know that I offended you anyway, just forgive me. Let your blessings become your own. If there is anything you want us to talk, talk to me. Let us solve it. Don't put me for mind. The word of God is not in vain. There is power there. When they say, touch not my anointed, I do my prophet no harm. It is not vain words. You are also the anointed of God. Nobody should put you in mind for evil. That person will receive the reward. Amen, somebody. Amen. We should not stop our own blessings. This one now is distraction. I don't know why. Hearing me on uh, Facebook, any one of us here, you don't face with me, just come, let us solve it. If you want to slap me, slap me. If you want to kick me, kick me, let us solve it. Because it helps us. Amen? Amen. Let me look for where I am. Praise the Lord. No, I want to go, I will still stop. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us that the word of God is what is holding everything. The word of God lives eternally. The word of God is spirit. The word of God is life. According to the book of John 6 63. We know that already. I've told us that according to the power that is within us, God is ready to do his miracle for us. Amen? Amen. I've told us already of Balaam. And Balak. I want to end with this. Remember what happened to Peter in the book of Luke 6 from 4 to 6. The Bible said that Peter, after he has given his boats for God to use, is he only him that I want to talk about? Elijah went to meet that woman. Elijah said, Give me all your food, let me eat. The woman said, The only food that I have is what I want to eat. And my son will eat and we will die. He said, No problem, prepare the food, but give me first to eat. He will say, Eh? Give Rachel to eat first. Who is she? But when she gave, when he gave Elijah, the food lasted three and a half years. Because God has spoken the word. Elijah believed the word. And Elijah repeated the word. God said to five. God said to Peter. He said, cast your net at this side of the water. Peter said, ah. Yet. Nothing came out. He said, but at the word, I will cast the nets. The Bible said they casted their nets and they caught great catch. And they called other people. Why? At your word, I will do it. The power in the word of God is you accepting it and doing it. The glory comes when we follow it accordingly. I have talked like this. I have talked like this. Go like this, go like this, go like this. 
Oh, me so I run now. <laughs> and I enjoy it when I go like this. Pick the one that is your own inside. <laughs> what has he been telling you until Anna changed his mind towards Fenina and the husband? Anna would have received the child. But all the years that she was making an enmity with Fenina, she blocked her whole womb. The colonel said that, my God. But I like a colonel. A colonel is such a good man. The Bible tells us that when Anna was taking care of Samuel, a colonel went to go and pay his own vow to God. Meaning that all the time that Anna was crying and said, we know it, that man vowed on behalf of his family, on behalf of his wife. But her bitterness towards her mates, her bitterness to her neighbors in the church, her mindset towards church members is what detained her. He did not know the vow that, that the husband already had with God on her behalf to come to pass because of her mindset. Envy, bitter. I said so many things we have grown past. It shouldn't be seen in our hand again. Anger, fighting, we have grown past that. It shouldn't be seen in our hand. Envy, animosity, we have grown past that. It shouldn't be seen in our hands. Because God is not like that. Bible said it's a jealous God, meaning that don't think what is my own. Or it's not envy. We in our envy we they get. We call it jealousy. It's not jealous. It's envy that is troubling man. Because what I'm jealous for is not what is my own. So not be jealous, not envy. Envy is that you don't have what the person has. You want to destroy the person for it. Jealous means this thing is my own. And I want to keep it. I don't want anything to destroy it. That is jealous. And that is why the Bible said, God is a jealous God. So because of you and I, he is jealous to cover us under the shelter of his wings. You don't see the difference? Every want to destroy. Jealous want to protect what is rightfully is or has. And not in a way to destroy that thing. But envy will destroy that thing and the one holding it. You see the difference? But jealous will not destroy that thing. We do everything to protect that thing. We will only fight against that one that does not want my That is why at times I say somebody they say the husband is jealous, come kill the wife with a crazy. Kill the wife because the wife was going out with another person. You don't love your wife. If you are envy. That means she's not even your own at the beginning. Praise the Lord. Let me leave all those things. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> do we understand? Do we understand that? Now, for let me pray for PG. I for sweet pass. Amen. Your world is not empty. Peter said that your world, I will do it. Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. The Bible said they all died in the wilderness because they did not believe the word of God. He said you can only enter the rest if you believe the word of God. That is where the power is because the word of God is already power. But if that power needs to become your own, you have to accept it and to do it. And I told us before, and knit it, mold it with what is called love. That is what is inside your heart. When I was talking about uh, Goliath and David, David is the beloved of God. He was able to use all the resources around because he knew the heart of God. Go back to that message. You will enjoy it in Jesus' name.